I'm going to make a really big promise here. I'm going to show you how to create a walk away residual income in 12 months or less, working less than an hour a day for less than $10 a month. Now, the less than $10 a month part, I'm going to show you in the second half of this presentation. So you're going to have to hang on for that. But everything else I'm going to show you in this first half of this presentation where you can take this wherever you want to take it and, and do with it whatever you want to do. And again, this is a really big, bold claim, but I'm going to show you exactly how we're doing it. I'm going to show you that it's already happening. I'm going to give you the exact steps to do exactly what I just said that you could do. And if you hang out for the second half of this presentation, which you're not obligated to do, I'm just going to give you everything that's so you can just you step into something that is already done for you. Because as you'll see, as you go through this presentation, you know, over the course of the last 20 years, my, I've been in this industry for 20 years, been trying to and successfully building my own thing for 20 years now. And one of the things that I really find is that it's much, much easier when somebody gives you all of the pieces and there are just a couple of things that you've got to do on a daily basis have a little daily mode of operation that you can plug into that's simple that's that anybody can do if you can do that on top of what i'm going to show you here then it's much much easier to to have a successful business and so i want you to if you're not already a part of our community i want you to sit back i want you to relax i want you to unfold the arms if they're folded if somebody invited you to something you don't even know what you're looking at just sit back relax put your wallet away put your skepticism away uh, because there's nothing to buy at all in this presentation and i'm actually going to show you how you can join our community or at least get a peek in, into the inside absolutely free and so again put the wallet away sit back in your chair relax just have a good time and know that over the next couple of minutes i'm going to show you seven principles seven little steps to a formula formula that i've been using to create money in a way that gives me true wealth and wealth again is time money and freedom all at the same time and one of the first things that you need before I even get into any of the steps is you are going to need to know what's your mission. What is your mission? Why are you doing it? Who do you want to serve? If you did have all of the time and freedom and resources that you wanted to, what would you do with it? Why do you want it? Is there a community that you'd want to serve? Is it, it could be that you're just trying to get out of a job. It could be that you're trying to get out of bed. It could be that you are trying to spend more time with your children. When I first decided what my must was, I had been let go three weeks before Christmas. I had a little baby girl at home already. My son was on the way. My, my wife was pregnant already with my son. And so what I learned after I got let go, I'd been home for a little bit, a few weeks, a couple of months. And what I really realized is that all of the extra time I was getting to spend with my daughter and with my wife and just being together, I never, ever wanted to leave that again. And so it became my mission. It became my why. It became my must to start building money, to create income in a way that allowed me the freedom to be home with my family. And that was almost 20 years ago. And I'm happy to say that I never had to go back to the job because part of that is because I had a really solid why. I had a really solid, I had a mission. I had a why, I had a must. I must get free in order to spend this time with my family and do the things that I wanted to with my life. Now, over time, my mission has grown. My why has gotten bigger. It's gotten outside of me and my family. But it doesn't matter what your why, what your mission is right now. It just matters that you have one, right? You've got to have something that you are seeking, some something that's driving you. If it could be something positive, like for me, it was just spending more time with my family. Sometimes you're running away from something, right? Like maybe it's a job you want to get away from, but try to think about what you're running towards and that will help fuel you in a much more positive way than running away from this negative thing, but running towards that positive thing. And it will really help you as you go along here. And so what is our mission here? You came here, somebody who invited you here and you invited, they got invited to the job free revolution. And what is this job free thing? Are you just a bunch of lazy people who don't want to work? And no, that's absolutely not who we are. We believe though, that you can make more while working less and you should because it frees you up to do all of the things that you want to do. It frees you up to be with the people you want to, that you love the most. It frees you up to be doing the things that you love the most. 
and it frees you up as your mission grows and as your vision grows and as your why grows it frees you up to serve the people communities and causes that god puts into your heart at any moment because wouldn't it be cool that in any moment if you wanted to go serve you know somebody if something happened in the world or you wanted to go help somebody you wanted to go serve a group of people or you just got it into your heart that you wanted to help a specific group of people wouldn't it be cool at any moment in time to say you know what i'm just going to pick up and i'm going to go do that i've got the time i've got the freedom i've got the resources I'm going to go do that no matter what it is and I could be just spending more time with your family it, and again it could be as your mission grows as your why grows as, as your must grows worry about my dog they're barking that's part of listen I'm working from home this is proof that we're live this isn't something that I recorded this is real life this is real business but this is why I'm home because I want to be home with my family I want to be home with my barking dog and again almost 20 years ago I decided that was my must barking dogs and all I wanted to be home and be with my family and that's our mission with the job free revolution we're not just a bunch of lazy people who don't want to work we just believe that work should absolutely be meaningful it should be purposeful and it should produce income in a way that gives us and gives you more time exponentially more time to spend with those that we love the most doing the things that we love the most and serving the people communities and causes that speak to our hearts. And I'm going to take a second here just to take a peek into the chat to make sure everything is going well. It looks like it is. I see somebody got startled by the dog. <laughs> Sorry Rob that happens. I'll try to keep him a little bit more calm, but yeah, he is my little buddy and so he just gets to do what he wants. And that's our mission. But now I want to get into those things that this again, this first half of the presentation is going to be for those of you who just want a formula, who want some principles, who want a plan, who want to know what to look for to have a freedom business. Because again, it's one thing to have a business, it's another thing to have a business that gives you the freedom, the time, and the resources all together so that you can go out and do whatever it is that you want to do. in the world and the number one thing i already touched on this a little bit is that in today's day and age you can plug into so many different business models so many different businesses so many different opportunities where everything pretty much is already done for you or most of the hard techy time consuming expensive work is done for you and you should do that as much as possible now this is what took me from broke and struggling and confused to actually succeeding in my business because prior to me getting laid off the, that 3 weeks before christmas i had already been trying to do this for at least a couple of years and i'd gotten my family into a situation we were anywhere between 30 and 50,000 in debt at any moment it was going back and forth but we stayed between 30 and 50,000 in debt for a while and i couldn't get this this business thing figured out i was trying offline stuff i was trying online stuff and i ran into a guy named Darren Godry and Darren Godry i really loved what he was doing from the standpoint of he was building freedom businesses he was super super successful but he wasn't doing all of the stuff he wasn't build, building all the products he wasn't doing all the websites he wasn't doing all the customer service he wasn't handling all the merchant accounts he was just doing a couple things a day and plugging into systems that had everything pretty much ready to go for him and then he could just focus on one or two or three things a day that took him maybe a couple hours at most and then he had the day to do it with what he wanted and so i found that shortly 2004 i got let go 2005 i found Darren and by the end of 2005 after being about $50,000 in debt i had made my first $101,000 online because i had plugged into done for you systems that were all done for me all i had to do is a couple of things every single day and let the system handle everything else and so the number one thing that i really recommend is if you are getting started if you haven't had success i don't recommend and you can follow any path that you want to there's a million different ways to create wealth if you want to keep it simple though i don't always recommend doing your own products developing all of your own coaching and trying to build all of your own websites and doing all of this stuff because while you're doing that you can't really be building and doing all of that at the same time and so number one that takes a really long time to get started it could take you months or even a year or two to get all of that laid out and by the time you get it laid out in today's day and age you're probably going to be outdated anyway and so it just makes more sense to plug into something that's already ready for you 
and just do a couple of things. And we can talk about what those couple of things are later on in this presentation. The next thing is right now income. There are all sorts of different ways to get paid, but if you are plugging into a business or an opportunity or an affiliate program or partnering with something and creating income that way, if you're not getting paid for weeks or months at a time, it's really hard to build a business at scale because you're always waiting for that next influx of income to, to really get going. You want to be in a situation where you can be getting paid in seven days or less, if at all possible. That is the best case scenario. So number one, done for you systems. Number two, plug into something that can get you a check right away or within seven days or less so that you can start investing that back into your business and actually be growing your business pretty much from the time that you start that business. Number three is, and I've been really, I had forgotten about this type of income over the last few years. When I first got started in the industry, it was part of everything that I did. And as I started, I was actually stepping back from the industry. And the further I was stepping away, the more I stepped away from this exponential income. And I don't even know why I was doing it. It's just some, one of those things that sometimes when you, you've had some success, you forget about what gets you there. And so over the last four months, there's a couple of types of income that I'm going to talk about in these seven things or these seven principles or these seven principles of a freedom-based business. One of those things is exponential income. And this is how you get paid, whether you get out of bed or not, because exponential income is the type of income that grows in, in your absence. It doesn't matter if you're trading time for dollars, you can be not just creating income, but growing your income even while you're not there. And this is what took me, this was about, I was probably four, five, maybe even six years into full-time online business. But I'd been doing $10,000 a month for several years, but I couldn't really get past it. And I plugged into a business model that had what I call exponential income. It's getting paid on the efforts of yourself but also getting paid on the efforts of others and the efforts of others and others down multiple levels of people and through hundreds, maybe even thousands of people, exponential income that can continue to grow whether you're working or not, because you can have 10, you can have 20, you can have 30, you could have 100, you could have 500, you could have thousands of people always working their business. And when it contributes to your business too, that is what's, what exponential income is. It allows you to walk away. And this took me actually from zero to $60,000 in 60 days once when I had lost everything. And I had some merchant problems. A merchant had taken pretty much all of the income that I had made over the previous year. Over $100,000 of my income was holding it for six months. And this, this, this business model plugging into exponential income where I got paid on my efforts and the efforts of those that I brought in and the efforts th of those that they brought in and down levels and levels and levels of people that was able to exponentially expand my income and allow me to create income when I was working or not working. So that's ex exponential income. And the other thing about exponential income is that it exposes how the wealthy actually create money and how the poor really don't ever really create any money because here's, I, I don't say poor in a negative really connotation, right? It's poor meaning that you aren't really in a creating wealth in a way that allows you to systematically grow and scale that income. It means you're just getting paid on your own time. You're clocking in and you're getting paid for as long as you're clocked in. As soon as you clock out, you're done getting paid. And so you're just paycheck to paycheck. Only the hours that you trade with your time are you getting paid? What wealthy people have figured out is how to create time and money simultaneously by leveraging teams, by leveraging employees, by leveraging assets. But assets are pretty tough to, they're expensive to accumulate. Employees means you've got to be running on entire companies, which is hard. But teams is really where I'm going to want to focus over the rest of this presentation. You can build teams at any experience level. You can build teams for free. And it's super simple to build teams of people in a business that has everything already done for you, as we talked about, so that you can leverage that income, like I said, to be creating income, whether you're working 
or not. So I'm right now, for example, getting paid 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whether I choose to work or not. And I have over 2,100 people all over the world in every time zone creating income for me. And I'm going to show you at a later point in this presentation, if you hang out, you'll have to hang out to the second half, which again, you have no obligation to do, but I'm almost about to get paid on the efforts of at least 400,000 people. I'm going to talk about that later, but imagine getting paid on the efforts of 400,000 people. People. Right now, I'm already getting paid on the efforts of a couple thousand people, whether I get out of bed or not, because of this exponential income, meaning I'm getting paid on my efforts. I'm getting paid on the efforts of the team that I'm building. I'm getting paid on the efforts of the team that they're building. But I'm soon going to be getting paid on the efforts of many more. And it's an entirely different type of income that I'll talk about here in a minute. But of 400,000 people, I want you to imagine that for a second. The next thing you need is retention. And this is actually pretty tough in any business where there is a residual income model or an exponential income model. It's retention is what really stops or stifles those businesses. It really makes it hard for people to grow because people are always cycling in and out. But there are a few things that if you have retention becomes much, much easier. And I'm going to show you in the second half of this presentation, if you hang out, how we've got it a 96% retention rate, which is pretty crazy. But here's a couple of things that you need. The first thing that you need are products that people actually want. And again, we've got nearly 400,000 paid members inside of six months. And we're, what I'm doing right now, for example, I talked about those 400,000 people and I'm getting paid on 2000 people right now but we've got products that people want, right? And that's why 400,000 people have come in over the last six months. And also why up to 7,000 people come in every single day, because we've got something that people want. And a good way to know if you've got something that people want is that they vote. And how do people vote in a way that's meaningful when you're growing a business? With their credit cards. If people aren't paying, they, you don't have something that they want. If you are, if you've got a bunch of free information out there and people are gobbling up their free information, but they never pay for anything, it's not something that really moves the needle for them. Maybe they want to know it or they want to learn about it or something like that, but they don't want to have it in a way where it's actually worthwhile for them to pull out their wallet, pull out their credit card and actually pay for it. So that's the number one way to know if you've got a product that people want, they're actually paying for it. Are they already buying it? That's a good way to know if you've got something that can create retention for you. Are you providing a service, a tool, a product that people actually are already buying in mass in the marketplace? And then can you make it easier? Can you make it faster? Can you make it less expensive? And can you do it at a higher quality than somebody else is doing? And again, when I say, can you make it I don't necessarily mean, can you physically make it, right? Can you plug into a business, an opportunity, a product that you can offer that makes it easier, faster, less expensive, or higher quality for somebody that, that's already buying that product? That will help you with retention. And again, if you hang on for a few minutes, I'm going to show you how a, an entire community of us are as a community of hundreds of thousands of people have a 96% retention rate because we have something that somebody that lots of people want and we're making it way, way better because it thinks that they're already buying. Number five, you need leverage. Obviously, if you want freedom, you've got to take advantage of leverage. And this kind of, it summarizes all the stuff we've really been talking about. If you want to create more while working less, and again, it's not because we're lazy, it's because we want to actually do more with the time and freedom and resources that we're creating. We wanna be with the people we love more the most. We wanna do the things we love the most. And we wanna serve the people, communities and causes that God puts into our heart at any moment, right? And you can't do that if you're always trading time for dollars. So to be able to create more while working less, there have to be systems in place already. There has to be training in place already. And most importantly, there has to be community. And here's why community. Systems will help people, training will help people, but what people really are hungry for is a community that, that they can plug into. When they've got, when they need help with the training, 
is there somebody that they can go to that's not you? Some, sometimes it can be you, but is there a community that exists that they can go to when, for example, are you, if you're on vacation? Is there a system they can plug into that make things easier for them? But when they need help with the system, is there a community in place to help them with that system when you're absent in your business? And again, as you build a freedom business, you're going to be absent from it eventually more than you're in it. When you first start a business, you've got to be in it more than you're out of it. But as you step away from your business, as you grow, as you're more successful and more successful, and as you you want to do more things with your time, money, and your time, money, and freedom, you're going to want to step away. You need systems, you need training, and you need community, especially to be able to do that. So as you're looking for ways to create true wealth for yourself, with a, which again is time, money, freedom at the same time, as you're looking to do that. Make sure that you've got leverage in systems, leverage in training, and leverage in community. And this one is my absolute favorite thing. This is something that I really stumbled on over the last four months here, and it's completely changing my life. This is the thing where I said I'm getting close to getting paid on a community right now of four hundred thousand people. This is the ultimate income source. I want you to think about what if you get, could get paid. A share of every single penny that a company earned. For example, I was listening to a call the yesterday, I think it was, about Chick Fil A, and Chick Fil A is a massively successful fast food chain right now. They're in each independent business nets about six hundred thousand dollars a year in income, so they're doing really well. Hey, back to the Chick Fil A example. What if you could get paid on every chicken sandwich, every fry, every drink? Every everything sold by every Chick Fil A in existence. What if you get to get a tiny piece of every single thing sold? That is shareholder income. And as you're looking for a business, do they have a way for you to override a percentage, even if it's tiny, even if it's a tiny percentage of the gross profits of the entire company, the entire company? And this is really hard to find, and I didn't find it until four months ago. But it's absolutely changing everything I think about how I want to run a business for the rest of my life. Because as I get closer to sharing in what I call shareholder income, I'm going to share a piece of a company, and it's not a huge piece, but it, the income that it translates into, I'll show you some real-world examples here in a second, is massive. Just a tiny piece of four hundred thousand people and growing by three to seven thousand people a day. So that number is going to be a million people by the end of this year, for example. So if I get in, if I get a, if I get a share of that income over the next month or two here, and in the next six, in the next five six months, it grows to a million people. Now I'm getting a share of a million people. If over the next eighteen months it grows to three million people, now I'm getting a share of all of the income generated by three million people. Every single product sold, every single membership sold, every single everything sold, I get a piece of that. So that's the difference between the way that I can explain it. That makes sense. Is it's one thing to own your own franchise, right? But it's another thing to get a piece of every single franchise that exists in <laughs> in in that specific franchise. It's It will change your life, and I'm going to show you one place that I found to be able to do that. It's really hard to find, and if you could find it, grab onto it because it's. I've only found it once that I can remember, or once that I have recognized anyway over the last 20 years, and it was in the last four months. And I'm going to show you actually in the second half of this presentation, you know how you can find it for yourself as well. The last thing you need is something that's high converting. And fast moving. It, to be fast moving, you need a couple of things. And for a few years, I stepped away from urgency and I stepped away from scarcity. But you, what I'm finding over the last four to five months is that urgency and scarcity, done in a way that makes sense, done in a way that isn't manipulative, right? You can't have false scarcity. You can't have a false urgency where it's not real, right? Where you say, for example, somebody says, "Oh, the, these products come off the market in 48 hours, and then after 48 hours, you can still get them at the same price." That's a false urgency, right? That's not an ethical way to grow your business. But if there's a real urgency and a real scarcity, here's why you need that in your business. 
I want you to think about yourself, for example, and I think about myself. If somebody gives me until next Wednesday to do something, I'm going to finish it at the earliest Tuesday night. And I want you to think about you over the course of your life. It going back to like school and stuff. It's why we have deadlines because people by nature procrastinate. There's this tiny percentage. And if you're sitting there thinking, I always get things done a week ahead of time, you're like one of one in a gazillion people. It just, it doesn't, people by nature are procrastinators. And if you give people time to do something, they will take that time. And so if there's no urgency and there's no scarcity built into your business, what's going to happen. And I'm going to talk about this more in the second half of the presentation is that people are going to take their time and the typical model. And I've been studying statistics and how business models work for the entirety of my 20 years of doing this. I've really geeked out on the numbers and systems and, and funnels and that sort of thing and studying the percentages. And here's how it breaks down in a typical funnel or sales process that doesn't have urgency, that doesn't have scarcity. Here's what happens. Less than 1% of people buy right away. It takes about 90 days for 15% of your buyers to buy. The other 85% of your buyers, they don't buy until after 90 days and all the way up until about 18 months. So what that means is in the typical business model without urgency, without scarcity built in a, in an ethical, in a meaningful way, that's real. If you don't have it built in, most of your buyers aren't even going to look at your stuff for 90 days. And most of them aren't going to buy until 90 to 180 days. Do you have 180 days to wait for people to buy your products, services, tools, whatever it is that you're selling? So make sure that there's urgency, make sure that there's scarcity. I'm going to show you something over the second half of this presentation where instead of people buying at day 90 or 180 or somewhere in between, our buying cycle is less than seven days, seven days. That's how you can build a business at scale because we've got something that's fast moving and you also need high converting. High converting just means that it takes you less time and money to produce a sale right? High converting means that instead of one out of every 10, you're getting three out of every 10 or seven out of every 10 to buy, right? I'm going to show you something over the course of this presentation where we are getting company wide. I'll show you, I'll show you a company that has hundreds of thousands of people in it that has a 30% buy rate within seven days, which is absolutely crazy. But I'll also show you some people in there who are getting a 70% buy rate or a 90% buy rate in those seven days, which is just absolutely crazy. But think about how much easier it is to build a business when, you know, seven to eight people are buying right away instead of one. That's how you build a business fast. And that's why I made that big, bold promise in the beginning that to build walk away residual income in 12 months or less, you need some sort of speed, right? That's why you need high converting. That's why you need fast moving. That's why you need urgency and scarcity in your business. And there's one last thing that I wanted to make sure that I put in here that is a rocket fuel on your business. It doesn't always happen because it's hard to catch. You've got to catch opportunities. You've got to catch products. You've got to catch businesses at the right time. But when you do, you step into two things. You step into momentum and you step into timing. And I don't care what anybody tries to tell you, timing absolutely matters. It doesn't matter. I, I've been listening to a company owner who has paid out billions of dollars in revenue over the last 10 years or so. And even he, the owner of companies, he says that year five is way different than year one, right? If you catch the company at year one, it's way easier to build a business than if you catch that company at year five. It doesn't matter if the company's still successful at year five. It's way easier to actually grow the business if you stepped into that business in year one because timing matters and momentum makes the same work easier. When you have momentum, it means that a business is growing at a, this upward scale, right? You don't, you're not flatlined. It's not like in this little beginning phase where nobody really knows about it. You've hit it at a point where it's growing week after week and day after day. There's significant growth. If you can catch a company in momentum 
if you can catch a company at the right time or a business or a product or a service or whatever it is that you want to offer, if you can add momentum and timing to those seven things that I just showed you, then you can take your business, you could take your business off in 90 days, not in not 12 months. That's how you do it. So at this point, the seven things, right? What you need to look for in a business or in a service or in an opportunity, those seven things to, to have a meaningful why or reason or must or mission that you want to step into for you to be able to spend the time to doing that. The seven things, how important momentum and timing is. If you want to go right now, you can. This is being recorded. I will send you the first half of this. You can have it and study that as much as you want and look for businesses, look for services, look for tools, look for products, look for opportunities that have all of those things. And if they do, you'll be able to create wealth for yourself much, much faster. And again, wealth is time, money, freedom created simultaneously. And so if you'd like to go, thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out for me with us this long. But if you'd like to stay, I've got a question for you. Would it be okay if I showed you the following things? Would it be okay if I showed you a done for you solution that had all of the seven freedom elements and had momentum and timing so that you could see massive growth, not just over 12 months, but even in 90 days, if you really stepped into that momentum and you put in some work, right? Would it be okay if I showed you something that was creating 5,000 brand new paychecks every single week? Talk about growth and timing and momentum. Would it be okay if that same thing that I was going to show you was right now producing at least two new six figure earners every single week. I don't know of a lot of opportunities, tools, businesses, services, whatever, producing two brand new six figure earners every single week. I'm going to show you one if it's okay with you. And I want to show you one that's that recently helped a homeless man, a man who was homeless in October through December. I just watched him make nearly a hundred thousand dollars in a single month in less than six months with this thing that I'm about to show you. And what if that thing had a total cost of only 33 cents per day? What I really want to do is that it's not an easy button, but I want to give you the easier button. And if that's okay, I'd like you to type yes in the chat. I'm going to take a second here to go and look at the chat. And if it's okay with you for me to continue on and show you all that stuff, 